Cash budgeting is a complex concept that many students struggle with. So I'm going to do a series of questions to introduce you and hopefully allow you to become really familiar with cash budgeting. We're going to start with this question. So we've got a company that expects to have a cash balance of $45,000 on January 1st, 2022. Relevant monthly budget data for the first two months of 2022 are as follows. So collections from customers, so they're telling us exactly what they're going to collect from customers in cash in both January and February. Payments to suppliers, they're giving us the payment amount. Direct labor, January, February, wages are paid in the month they are incurred. So that means if they, uh, if they use their employees in this month, they're going to pay them 100%. Manufacturing overhead, January is 26, February is 31. These costs include depreciation of $1,000 per month. All other overhead costs are paid as incurred. So again, as soon as we incur them, we pay them. There's no delay in payment. Selling and administrative expenses, they're giving us January and February. These costs are exclusive, so they exclude depreciation. They are paid as incurred. And then sales of marketable securities in January are expected to realize $10,000 in cash. The company has a line of credit at the local bank. It can borrow up to $25,000. The company wants to keep a minimum monthly cash balance, so they don't want their cash balance to go below $25,000. Required, prepare a cash budget for January and February. Let's get started. I don't think I'm going to be able to hold both of these on here. No, I can't. I kind of can. Let's just kind of do it then. Yeah, that, that's not going to work. Okay. So I'll just pull it out when I need to. Make sure you have the question in front of you so you're following along. So we're going to start with the company name. We're going to do cash, budget, and this question is really just showing you the structure of the cash budget because there's nothing really complex here. We've got two months ending February 28th, 2022. All right, so we're going to start with January and we're going to also have February. We're going to have the beginning cash balance. Now that has to be given to you and you'll notice it said that they expect it to be $45,000. So we know that's the beginning cash balance, $45,000. We can't do February's yet because February's is dependent on whatever happens in January. So now I'm going to start with adding my cash receipts. So how much did I receive from my customers? Cash collections from customers in January were $100,000. Now I know I sold some marketable securities. Sales of marketable securities in January are expected to realize $10,000 in cash. So that's what we're going to get. $10,000 in cash. And I think that's it, that is. So total cash receipts. are equal to 110,000. Now remember, that doesn't include the 45 because this is total cash receipts. What did I receive in this current period? I could do total available cash. Total available cash is of course the 45 plus the 110, that is 155,000. Now I've got to deduct the cash disbursements. Okay, so what am I paying out? Payments to suppliers, January 60,000.
this would be like direct materials. So that's 60,000. And then direct labor here is 30,000 in January. Now let's look. Manufacturing overhead. It's $26,000 in January, but it says includes depreciation of $1,000 a month. I don't know if you remember from your introductory financial accounting, but when we pay depreciation, we do not, we absolutely do not include that in the cash budget because depreciation is not paid in cash. Remember the only two accounts that are affected for depreciation would be accumulated depreciation and depreciation expense. So the word cash never comes into that entry, so it doesn't belong in our cash budget. So we're going to take our 26,000, so for manufacturing overhead, this is going to be the 26,000 minus the depreciation of $1,000, this is only $25,000. All right, selling and administrative expenses, January is 15,000. There's no depreciation included, so we can just use the 15,000. Now, let's look, anything else? No, that's it, that's it. So, this is total cash, disbursements, going to use a short form, going to add that together, wait, where's my calculator, here it is, that is 130,000. Now, if I take my total available cash and I deduct my total cash disbursements, I will get the excess of available cash over disbursements, right? So I'm going to get my cash available. So that's my cash balance. And in this case, that 155,000 minus the 130,000 is exactly $25,000. And remember what they say, they said that, where am I, where am I? Right here, they wanted to have a minimum monthly cash balance of 25,000. We have exactly 25,000, so that means we don't need any borrowing. So if we needed it, I'm gonna put down here financing. If we needed to borrow money, we would have to have borrowings down here, and then we would have uh, repayment. and interest costs. And then this would be our actual ending cash balance, right? In this case, it's nothing, nothing, nothing. So our ending cash balance is still 25,000. Okay, so now that we have this 25,000, we're gonna take this 25,000 and we're gonna move it up. This 25,000 closing balance will become February's opening balance. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna put the $25,000 right here. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did before. We've got our cash receipts for February, cash receipts for February, 80,000. Oh, wait a minute, was I correct? No, 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 that was suppliers. Uh, collections, oh, February, 160,000, that's better. Now, we don't have another sale of marketable securities. That was just a one-time thing that we had um, in January. So we're going to put zero here. And so my total cash receipts are 160,000. If I take my opening balance plus my total cash receipts, it's gonna tell me the total cash available. The total cash available is 100, no, yes, yes, 185,000. Now, 
Payments to suppliers, we're going to go down again. We've got the payments to suppliers, which are direct materials, 80,000. Then we're going to have direct labor payments. So direct labor payments, 45,000, and they're all paid in the month that they are incurred. Manufacturing overhead. Again, we've got the manufacturing overhead. This is for January. We want for February um, for manufacturing overhead. This time it equals $31,000. Subtract the $1,000 depreciation is equal to $30,000. Selling an admin, we're going to look here. Selling an admin for February is 20000 no depreciation. So we're going to add all those up. $175,000. Now, $185,000 minus $175,000 says that our balance right now is only $10,000. But recall from the question for a moment, it says that we have to have a minimum monthly cash balance of $25,000, otherwise we have to borrow it. So in this case, we're going to have some borrowings. We're going to borrow $15,000. It's not going to have any repayment yet, and there's no interest yet because we're going to borrow it at the end of the month. And interest is a factor of time. We're not going to have interest incurred until after we borrow it. So if I borrow it on the very last day of February, nothing in here, no interest costs. So that will give me $25,000. This will become the opening balance for next month. If I was doing March, I would show March here. So that's the basic setup for a cash budget. In the next question, we're going to do something a little bit more complex.